Shalom, peace to you and peace to your house. Uh, Amaris here. Um, I am about to go do a polar plunge in some water that was 48.2 degrees yesterday. Uh, my dad, my 73 year old dad jumped in and he actually walked in and then jumped in. And I was really jealous that I didn't get to do it because I didn't um, bring my swimsuit. But my two nieces, who are I think 12, I'm not sure. They were gonna actually, they were the ones to do it first before my dad did it. And they were standing on the dock and both of their mothers, my sisters, were standing there. It's my older sister and my younger sister. And they were both trying to talk the girls out of jumping in. And so both my nieces are standing there, they're in their suits, they decided they were ready to go, but I could tell they were waffling. They were listening to their mothers who were saying, it's too cold, it's too windy, don't do it, you're gonna freeze. Um, so they kept saying that and I could tell they were like hesitating. And so I finally chime in, do it, do it, jump in. And then they looked at each other and they jumped in. And so this caused, I guess, much discussion about the difference uh, between us three sisters. And I've always known that my older sister and I are more or less polar opposites on almost everything. <laughs> she would never wear this color of lipstick. She, uh, you know, she is super math minded. She was a math major. I am not good at math. She was a straight A student. She's a super, super rule follower. I was not a straight A student. I've never met a rule I liked. Um, we're just so different. And what's interesting is that growing up, I wished I could be more like my sister. Um, I just didn't have it in me. I just am not at all like her. And what's interesting is now that she has three daughters, uh, the differences between my sister and I are pointed out constantly by her daughters. And that when I do or say something, they're like, man, my mom would never do that. And um, the other day we were at a park and I was doing the monkey bars a bunch and they just were like, my mom would never do that. My mom would never wear glitter makeup. Or, And it's just funny to me um, how different they see us. And it just jumps out at me more and more, right? So today I want to do the polar plunge and guess who's going to do it? Now granted, she's getting paid a thousand dollars to jump in the freezing cold water, but she's going to do it, right? I'm pretty excited about that. But the thing is, I love my sister. I love our differences. I love that we're different people, you know? Um, I, I celebrate our differences and I think we need people that are not like us in our lives. And we need people that are different. Um, and we need to respect and love and celebrate the differences, right? I mean, if everybody was like ourselves, life would be so boring. Um, so I shared in uh, a live not too long ago about, about total forgiveness um, being a supernatural thing that, you know, only God can help us forgive people in our lives. And what was interesting is when I had to face um, more and more trying to forgive someone, I was in my prayer group. And my prayer group consists of mostly women all in the median age of 70 years old. There's one other uh, girl that is now my age that has joined our group, but otherwise everybody else is in their 60s or 70s. And, um, and it was the perfect place for me to, to be, to receive some harsh news about someone that I really need to forgive and that I really need supernatural forgiveness for. And I know in God's grace and mercy, he put me with them to hear that news because they were able to have wise words and just comforting words. And if I had been by myself when I had gotten that news, I just don't even know. I mean, uh, if you saw that live, I screamed three times in the presence of my prayer group, screamed and yelled, saying I didn't wanna forgive this person. So that was my reaction with people that I love and respect. And um, just imagine how I would have reacted if I was alone. And I had to sit alone with that news because it was hard enough when I was surrounded by people that care about me. And, and so 
I just, I, I'm so thankful that I have this group of wise women that all um, have different walks in their Christian faith and they're totally different than me. And they have totally diff different gifts than me. And they have so much wisdom to give me. And I'm so thankful for that. I can't imagine life without having people that are different than me in it and that can offer and share their wisdom in those moments. And I'm so thankful for that. And so I, I just want to encourage, you know, everyone to find some friends that are different than you, um, that think differently, behave differently, um, because life is so much more rich and fun, but also you can learn and you, it's just a wonderful thing. Um, so the scripture that um, made me think of my prayer group um, was Philippians 1, 3. I thank my God every time I remember you. In all of my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel. From the first day until now, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. It is right for me to feel this way about all of you since I have you in my heart. For whether I am in chains or defending and confirming the gospel, all of you share in God's grace with me. God can testify how I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer for all of you. And this is my prayer that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless until the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. So Lord, we just ask that you fill everybody. Um, with more knowledge and depth of insight. So, you know, maybe you're the one, you're the wiser one called to share your wisdom and your experience and your life with someone else. You know, look for someone different than you. Um, you know, get in a partnership with Christ. Um, you know, it, or just pray for someone. I mean, that's partnering with Christ and in, in, in helping someone. So Lord, we just ask that you... Help us to discern what is best and help us to be pure and blameless until the day of Christ. And keep putting us with people um, in our lives that, that help us grow and help us uh, see you more every day. Amen.